living kidney donation is becoming more important and, and common um, because of the ongoing shortage of kidney transplantation. Um, the number of kidneys available from the deceased donor population is remaining relatively stable while the number of people needing kidneys is continuing to increase every year. Um, it's also more common as um, the experience with living donation um, is increasing and the safety of the procedure is improving. Some places in the country, people wait 7 to 12 years for a kidney transplant. So if a patient has a living donor, they would not have to um, wait. They also could schedule their kidney transplant to their convenience um, to accommodate things like work schedules. Um, the most important benefit, however, is uh, the fact that these kidneys tend to work right away. Um, the one-year outcome for kidney, living kidney transplants is greater than 95% success um, versus about 90% success rates in deceased donors. Living donor kidney transplants we expect to last um, over 20 years versus about an average of 12 years for deceased donor transplants. Patients don't have to be blood related um, to donate a kidney. Uh, a kidney can come from friends. We also have um, a number of altruistic donors who donate to no person in, in particular. Um, there also is no absolute age limit for a donor, so we have had living donors in their 70s successfully give and survive a, a donor transplant um, procedure and also um, have a very successful outcome for the recipient. In the very near future, um, kidney allocation will change. Currently, we already use a grading system for the kidneys that we're offered, and that's called the KDPI, or Kidney Donor Profile Index. Um, and the new shift that's coming is going to also grade kidney recipients, and one of the main factors is going to be age. So a person will only receive kidney offers from donors that are within 15 years of their age. So UPMC is a leader in living donor transplant because, um, number one, the experience of our surgeons and our whole um, overall transplant team. Um, we have a dedicated group of coordinator surgeons, um, transplant nephrologists that work together um, to make the process as seamless as possible. The surgeons are experienced, which decreases the risk of operative complications. I think it's important for nephrologists and physicians to know that living donation is another option for patients with end-stage kidney disease. Um, that it offers better um, early and long-term outcomes um, for the patients in general. I think it's also important for physicians to know that it's going to become potentially more important, especially for older patients, as there is a shift in the way that donors um, will be allocated in the future.